Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the Common Sense Crypto Channel. As with you always, this is Rich doing another video today on XRP. So I hope you're all having a wonderful day today wherever you are in this great, great world. We're going to talk about XRP, but I have to start with this. I want to talk about Tether a little bit because things aren't looking good. Pushing the narrative for Tether to collapse. What is Tether? What is this $66 billion behemoth that has its headquarters at a small bank in the Bahamas? That's literally a hop, skip, and a jump from Sam Bankman Freed's lair. I haven't been able to find a dealer who says they'll do business with Tether. Now, are they pushing a narrative or are they giving us a warning? I feel now that what happened with Sam Bankman Freed, he might know a lot of things about Tether, and he's in the hot seat right now. He's probably looking to cut a deal. FTX on steroids is Tether, the Biden world's crypto BCCI. Now, one thing I want to point out in this article is this. It is important to state what is happening if Tether is not actually backed by the dollars that it claims. If Tether Limited is pumping out new Tethers without actually taking in an equal amount of USD, then it is essentially a privately run money printer. Just manufacture new Tethers, pump them into the crypto exchange, use them to buy Bitcoin, then sell the Bitcoin for real US dollars. If that's what's happening, you can bet Tether is going down. Bitcoin miners are failing at increased rates. This could have a negative impact on Bitcoin, further affecting Tether's ability to remain liquid. Now they're tying Tether to Bitcoin mining as well. And a lot of people have been saying for a long time now that Tether is bound to crash. It's just a matter of time. It's a ticking time bomb. People think that the collapse of FTX was bad. Just wait until Tether eventually pops. Tether makes up 85% of Bitcoin's volume. With it gone, Bitcoin would be trading far below $5,000 again. It's a ticking time bomb. Don't say you weren't warned. And the thing is, a lot of people feel this way. It's no longer a narrative that they're pushing. A lot of people say it's inevitable, that it's going to happen at some point. Sam Bankman Fried says he bought billions of Tether coins. Now here's the thing. Because he's in a lot of trouble right now, this doesn't look good in any way. You could bet Tether is coming under investigation very soon. Now, Alameda is the biggest recipient of Tethers ever. Sam Bankman Freed was Tether's biggest customer. Now, were they funneling money to, through Tether from one business to another business? Who knows? But again, this does not look good for Tether, and it doesn't look good for Bitcoin in the future. Just in, U.S. digital currency, a unanimous need to compete with China, House Committee. All invited speakers agree that the United States must launch a digital currency to remain globally competitive. Now they're sw switching the narrative as far as a digital currency as well. We have to fast track everything to keep up with innovation throughout the world. We have to compete with China. We have to compete with Russia. We have to compete with everyone at this point. They're trying to put a sense of urgency on it. This is all coming after the FTX collapse, which I believe was a planned collapse. Fed's bar says stable coins are urgent risk requiring guardrails. Bloomberg. Now, they're also going to bring stable coins into light. I believe USDC is going to become the United States stable coin at some point, most likely tied to the CBDC. Hasn't Tether's transparency been called into question by U.S. regulators? Also, isn't USDC likely to be the CBDC for the United States? I'm guessing some pretty powerful, influential folks would like to see Tether fall. Now, how much of a threat is Tether to USDC? That's what it seems to come down to. If they want it gone, this is the perfect time to go after Tether, after what happened with FTX. Ripple is the only company, albeit a very important one, whether you want to admit it or not, XRP will remain in the top 10 crypto 10 years from now, and it has been in the last 10, whether you like it or not. And digital assets will move forward with or without the United States. 
Now, this is also important because the rest of the world is about to go live with XRP at some point. If the U.S. isn't on board with XRP and Ripple, most likely they will still lag behind as far as in innovation. I believe they're working with Ripple behind the scenes. And the thing is, I believe that maybe the SEC lawsuit is that big charade that people have been calling it for a long time now. The U.S. must compete through innovation and legislation in the crypto space to play a leading position in shaping the future of digital money. XRP serves a major role in this endeavor as digital bridge asset for any currency from any country doing so fast, affordably, and securely. Now, we know the technology behind XRP puts a lot of people ahead of others. It even allows small banks to compete with bigger banks. So I believe whoever goes live first with XRP will always get the upper hand, whether it be BRICS or the UK. That's why I said I believe they're looking to go after Tether, fast track to CBDC, because I believe Tether they're looking at as competition possibly. And then with Tether out of the way, then they fast track USDC and a CBDC. That could be the plan behind all of this. A lot of people are going to regret after five years for not investing in XRP. Now, everything I just talked about is what gets us to the high-priced XRP, cross-border payments, on-demand liquidity, which I also believe the United States is going to need at some point in the very near future. Because you could see what they're trying to do. They're trying to crash out this old financial system to usher in a new one. I believe at some point a major black swan event could take place leading up to that. But think about it, if they want to shake a lot of people out of crypto as well, crash out Tether, you kill two birds with one stone, you get rid of the competition for USDC, and you shake a lot of people out of crypto very fast. And especially after what just happened with FTX, it would be the perfect timing for it all to happen. I believe that's why other people may think that December 6th is the day. I don't know why, but people have been saying that. But the thing is, what if Tether is too big to fail as well? Maybe they're doing everything on the up and up. Maybe we're all wrong about Tether. That's what it comes down to. And what does Sam Bankman Freed know about Tether? That's the key to all of it. Because right now, I'm sure he's looking for a way out of this massive mess he, that he created. But the thing is, I know as an XRP holder, I could sit silently on the sidelines, be patient, and watch all of this fall apart, still knowing that my investment is secure. No one's coming to take my XRP, and Ripple's not tied to any of this in any way. That's what's great about it. They keep pushing forward, expanding, and growing at an alarming rate. That's how I know we invest in the right cryptocurrency. With that said, I'm going to wrap up today's video. I want to thank you all for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Have a great night.